Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on permutations and combinations. So it is one of the most important concept in discrete mathematics and probability and statistics. So before going to the permutations and combinations, we must know the concept of combinatrics. Okay. So what is combinatrix? So combinatrix deals with the problems of permutations and combinations. Okay, whatever the problems are there in the permutations and the combinations, to solve that problems, we have to use one important part of discrete mathematics. That important part is called as combinatrix. So that means combinatrix solves the problems of permutations and combinations. Whatever the problems are there in the permutations and the combinations, to solve that problems, we have to use one important part of discrete mathematics. That important part is called as combinatrix. Okay. Hence, we can say that combinatrix is an important part of discrete mathematics that solves only counting problems without enumerating all possible cases. Okay. Next one. So, combinatrix is used for counting the number of ways of arranging or choosing n or elements from a given finite set contains n elements according to some specified rules. Okay. So that means we can take a finite set. We can take a finite set. Yes. This yes contains n distinct elements n distinct elements so from the n distinct elements we have to choose or select or arrange r elements okay r elements so we have to count the number of ways of choosing or selecting or arranging r elements from a given finite set contains n distinct elements according to the certain specified rules. Okay. For that one, we have to use combinatrix. Okay. So here, for arrangement purpose, we have to use permutations. For selection purpose, we have to use combinations. Okay. So, we want to select R objects from a set of N distinct objects. For that one, we have to use combinatrix. Okay. Next, from a given set of N different or distinct objects, we have to arrange or objects, for that one, we have to use permutation. Okay. For arrangement purpose, we have to use permutations. For choosing or selection purpose, we have to use combinations. So, that is the difference only. Okay. For arrangement purpose, we have to use permutations. For selection purpose, we have to use combinations. Okay, so whatever I am discussed, so then we have to discuss it through the definition of permutation. What is permutation? An ordered arrangement of R elements of a set of containing N elements is called an R permutation of N elements. Okay. So, this finite set containing how many number of elements? N distinct elements. From that finite set containing N distinct elements, from that one, we have to 
arrange or elements we have to arrange or elements is called an or permutation of n elements and it is denoted by p of n comma r where p denotes the permutation n denotes the a finite set containing n distinct elements from that n distinct elements we have to arrange r objects or objects okay so for that one we have to denote it by p of n comma r so it can also denote it as n p r n p r here the necessary condition should be satisfied is r less than or equal to n that means r objects is always less than or equal to a finite set containing n distinct elements so r is always less than or equal to n okay now what is the formula p of n comma r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial okay so this is the permutation of r elements from a set of n elements so the formula is n factorial by n minus r factorial. Okay. So, this is the permutation. P always denotes the permutation. Okay. The an ordered arrangement of r elements of a set containing n distinct elements is called an r permutation of n distinct elements that can be denoted by p of n comma r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial okay now p of n comma n okay total a finite set containing n distinct elements we have to select n elements from a given set containing n distinct elements so for that one the formula is n factorial okay so this is the description about the permutation okay next one go for combinations okay a set s containing n distinct elements okay we have to select all elements from a set of n distinct elements for that one we have to use combinations concept. So, that can be called as all combination of n elements and is denoted by C of n comma R where C denotes the combinations and n denotes a finite set containing n number of elements. From that n number of distinct elements, we have to select or elements we have to select or elements then it is called as or combination of n distinct elements so it is also denoted as ncr or it is also denoted as nr okay so ncr is nothing but this can be denoted as this one or this one okay three or same meaning okay now what is the formula c of n comma r is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay next c of n comma n is equal to one means that means a set containing n number of distinct elements from that set we have to choose all n elements okay so for that one so this is the formula c of n comma n is equal to one okay now we can go for the definition combinatrix deals with counting the number of ways of arranging or choosing here arranging is nothing but permutations choosing or selecting is nothing but combinations objects from a finite set according to certain specified rules okay so
so this finite set is a yes containing n number of distinct elements from the n number of distinct elements we have to arrange we have to arrange or elements for that one we have to use permutations we have to choose or selecting or elements for that one we have to use combinations how many number of ways of arranging n distinct or objects from a given set containing n distinct elements so for that one we have to use the permutations number of base of selecting n or elements from a set containing n distinct elements for that one we have to use combinations okay in both ways we have to count the number of ways we have to count the number of ways so number of ways of arrangement of r objects from a given set containing n distinct objects is called as an r permutation of n distinct objects that is called as n p of n comma r or a n p r okay next one an order an ordered selection of r objects from a given set containing n distinct elements is called as combinations it can be denoted as c of n comma r or r n c r or r n r okay so p of n comma r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial so p of n comma n is equal to n factorial next one here c of n comma r is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial c of n comma n is equal to 1 okay so this is the description about the what is combinatrix okay what type of problems that can be solved by combinatrix and what is permutations and what is the formula we have to use for permutations what is combinations what is the formula we have to use for combinations so okay for arrangement purpose we have to use permutations for choosing or selection purpose we have to use combinations in both cases we have to count the number of ways of arrangements or selection of r objects from a given set of n distinct elements okay thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so develop srinivasarao